as you may know, I did a recording day giveaway last Christmas and today is the day we are going to record it so as you can see over my shoulder we've got a grand piano we've also got five strings and a vocal they're all going to perform live we're going to film that live for a live performance video and we're going to document the behind the scene process so i'm going to take you through setting up the musicians to get the least amount of spill which microphones to use all of the outboard gear I'm going to walk through the patch bay, Pro Tools, setting up the SSL, and eventually we're going to mix it together. So let's go. The guys that won the recording day giveaway are... Newark! They sent in their track, But Love Hey, from their album, Flowers That Don't Exist. And they wanted to do a live video performance of that track with a grand piano, vocals, and a string section. And I couldn't pass that up. So let's head over to the live room to see what mic setups I used. And if you haven't already, check out the studio tour up here to see what the setup is like, what the microphone collection is like, and how the studio is set up in general. Let's go to the live room. This is actually not the loudest part in the piece, but it's still like your, your beautiful string moment. <laughs> All right, the mic setup on the strings. Let's start with the room mics, and then we're going over all the individual string mics. So over here, at the back of the room, we've got the C414B ULS. It's the old version of the C414 with a transformer in it for some coloration. So as you can see, the main room mics are more towards the piano and vocals because I want those to be more up front in the mix and then the strings behind that. So I want to paint that picture in the room mics already so I can put that up in the mix and that sense of depth is already there in the room mics. Here, all the way in the corner, I've got the back rooms and those are two C414 XL2s, which are the transformerless versions. I set them to cardioid, so they're only picking up the reflections from the wooden wall, and that gives it a really nice, warm, low endy sound. And then for how to record strings. So we've got an upright bass, cello, two violas, and a violin. On the upright bass, I've got a U67. It's on cardioid, so we're rejecting the sound from the piano. Then we've got a C451 to pick up the fingerboard. Right. On the cello, we've got a U87. This is the AI version. Positioning that so it faces the strings and where the bow hits the strings. Then on the violas, we've got the goals with the fat heads because we need that extra amplification because their output is not that high. I like to put those overhead to not get in the way and to get really in there where the bow hits the strings. Then on violin, I've got a um, biodynamic M160. I usually put up a fat head there as well because it's also a ribbon mic, but today I only have two, so that has to do. That's strings. Let's go back to the control room. Nicer. The first viola, I still need to fix a bit. So while they're playing, I'm checking all the face switches, flipping them, just playing around, seeing and hearing what sounds best. But of course, I'm also going to record a little piece and then seeing how the waveforms align and. With that, I'm going back to the face switches again, flipping them again to see if that actually sounds better. It's so simple If you were not love, so simple Check out episode two for piano and vocals and don't forget to like and subscribe.